So I'm here at my house with Carol today. Hi, Carol. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. And what are we doing today? We're going to be taking out my seats and then we're going to put in some cabinets. Okay. A shelf unit. And so. some shelves that I no longer need, so I'm going to gift them to her and we're going to see. Hopefully that works. Yes. Stay tuned. Okay. This is my husband, Mike, and he's helping us take her seats out. I was thinking maybe um, both of them, and then we could put the refrigerator here, like you suggested, on this side as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Cool. So, you're going to spend the night tonight? Yes. Because I don't think we'll get it all done. Yes. And one of the issues is she doesn't have any backlights. She has to see about her backlights, why they're not working. But anyway, you got this van recently, didn't you? Yes. Just in... I don't remember. When did we, when did we have our meetup? That's was where you October? saw it. I don't remember either. either. <laughs> I think it was around that time. Yeah. 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 And then I had it... Um, there was this for sale sign on it, and I was going to look at it too, and you just snatched yeah, it up. But yeah. no, I'm happy that you got it. Seriously. Yeah, um, I had it in one shop, and they said it was too heavy, so he couldn't look at it. And then I went to another shop, and that they do vans, and they had it for a few weeks because they do fleet vans as well. So I wasn't in any rush, but I had it all completely looked at. Mm -hmm. and so I got to check to see about the lights. So I thought I hadn't checked the lights, but yeah. So oh well, yeah, just go ahead. It, you know, it could be a fuse, maybe burnt out light. Uh, yeah, just a bulb or something. It could yeah. be. It could be. Yeah. Hopefully, easily fixed. Yes, I hope so too. Yeah. Awesome. So we don't know if we can get the whole seat base out or not. We have to see how that works. But I think we can lift the top off so we can see better. We'll see. I don't know. This is an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. The plan is to take four screws out, or bolts, I guess you call them bolts, and lift the seat up so then we can see how the base is screwed on to the floor because it's just too hard to see otherwise. But one of the issues is we're having is one of the bolts was screwed in and the screw is too long. So, I don't know why. So, we got, so it was just those four bolts, right? Okay, and we lifted it off, so now we got to get it out of the way and figure this thing out here. I wonder what this piece is down here, Mike. This, if that just unscrews. I don't know. I mean, it has to be bolted in there to be secure, obviously. Let's do the other one. What a difference, huh? Just that one chair. Yeah. So the other wood is going to be a little bit darker, but I think that'll be okay. So this is the bookcase that I'm cutting down. I'll show you the other side in a minute, but doing it in here just because it's heavy and they're busy working outside. So we get this done in the meantime. I'm at my kitchen here. I'm just gonna use my circular saw. There we go. And when I cut, I like to cut just on the outside of the line, just to be on the safe side. I did allow for that. So there it is, and <laughs> yeah, we'll have to vacuum again. And you get it off, that was quicker. Yeah, wow. This is nice because we got this little lip right here, uh -huh. and so that's cool because things won't like fly right out. Right, and what we're going to do is, the leftovers here, Yeah. we're going to make you a shelf that flips up for a table 
Yes, yes, cool. And then we're gonna use the rest of it to add the shelving that you want on the inside. So we're utilizing this whole piece of uh, very large, probably eight feet. I don't know how wide it was. Oh, it was, it was 31 and a half, remember we measured? 31 by uh, about eight feet. Yeah. And yeah. this is about, almost about four yeah. right here. So. So now we're going to try to reuse this wood. <laughs> Make some shelves and a countertop. It's not easy. <laughs> Almost. Keep going. <laughs> so we called in the reinforcements. Tim from Mo Bang for Your Bucks is underneath here. <laughs> Hi Tam. See even my real tool. I see the other stuff. He's gonna take try to take the seat out. From underneath that. It looks like I think it's the carpet, Tim. Yeah. Let's cut the carpet. It's, instead of using bone nut, the uh, little thing to squat out and then to keep it trapped there. Oh. How do you get that out? Just grind the head and then it will come out. Oh, you mean See if I grind things? it? Yeah. This will, will, will flatten out and it will pop right up. So yeah. those things right there? Yep. Oh. Yeah, if I just grind it now, it's right. flat and it will pop right up. Okay. Okay. You want to try that? But you have a portable power? Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to cut the carpet? Hmm? We're cutting the carpet? Yeah. Can't get it off. Out the carpet, it's glued down. Let's see what it looks like. So, what's under there? Like a wood piece? Oh, that's a little pin. Uh -huh. So, what you do, you pull the pin, you switch over, just remove this and leave the base in. Oh. So, you don't even have to take this bowl out. Yeah, there's a little pull it up and then swivel and lift the seat up. The whole seat and the base. Okay, you look down here, see how the hole? See there's a hole? See how oh. big that is? So oh. once you swivel, you should be able to lift the whole seat assembly, including the base out, and leave this whole thing down. Oh yeah, look, here's a little. So you didn't have to take those bolts out from underneath? Nope. No? No. Seriously? All you have to do is pull the pin. Oh my gosh. Is that pin that Are you sure? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See this pin? See, that's yeah, a pin right there. Yeah. You should be able to pull it out. See? Mm -hmm. See, when you pull this up, you should be able to swivel this and take the whole base out. Yeah, so you can put a swivel chair in. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So... Those bolts that you took out, you didn't have to. Nope. Oh my God. Does anyone want to go down? Yeah, so she's got some holes here. So what, this is what we're going to do. Because this uh, is high. RT. Yeah. Put a piece of, put a piece of uh, plywood here, thin, like quarter inch. Okay? Nail it in here and then she put a carpet over the top. Okay? Yep. yep. Done deal. He just pulled that middle pin out and twisted it and it came out. Yep. So we screw anyway. The uh, the carpet look ugly down here anyway. Yeah, you gotta cover it anyway. <laughs> Cause now you have a hole. <laughs> but that's but, an easy way of removing the seat. So it's the pin. 
Yep. Yeah. Done. So we didn't know, but now you know how to take the seats out of a GMC. I was wondering why Man. they have that pin there. Now what would be awesome is if she's able to use this base to put a swivel. That would be awesome for her. I don't know. So you're gonna line those, these things, right? Yep. Right here, up to here, yep. and then twist into here, and then twist it in. Yes, and then you put the pin back in. You know what? I'm spray okay. Some of that here, so okay. It get rusty. Yeah. See now it's sit by that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna spray it. See how it went rust a little bit? Yeah. See how there's water coming in here. You got it? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna lift the pin. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh my right God. God. Yeah, and obviously the seat would be on it, which would maybe even make it easier yeah, because. Yeah, if you leave the seat in, just pull the pin and swivel this way. Okay. Yeah. Let's treat. Let's see without. Let's see. Okay. Let's yeah, see so easy. easy. Oh my gosh. I put some uh, WD-40 in there. Yeah. Okay. What did you say, Tim? Shanghai. You got you got Shanghai to this by me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and I just happen to have a, I think it's a quarter inch piece of plywood here for her. We'll just cut this plywood to size here. I think that'll work. Yeah, let's make it a little smaller. Yeah. There you go, and then you just put, for now, just put your little carpet on the top. Yeah. We're getting there! Yeah. Little by little. Yeah. We're taking that seatbelt out. Yay! I'm probably going to have another hole, huh? I know. <laughs> That's okay, we'll fill it in. They bolt this one into the Took it off the top there, I see. Huh? What? I wonder if they bolted one of them in with the wood. Not coming out? No. No. See, there's a plate right here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Probably an L thing. L bracket. Yeah. Part of the carpet. <laughs> well, we still got the blade that wants to cut it. You need to yeah. RTV these holes on, from the bottom. Do we have to cover that hole too? Yeah. You have any RTV? Put holes that are moisture then from the bottom. Okay. Oh, moisture. Mm -hmm. What's RTV? Just what? like glue base. Glue? Oh. Oh, I don't have any of that. Don't you have the white? You know how like the silicone all the way around your edge? Maybe. Let me go see. Any kind better than nothing. Right now there's nothing covered. Okay, like, let me go see. Oh. Water or uh, most of my get up. From okay. the bottom it will rot everything out. Okay. Oh, didn't even think of that. Yeah. Well I do that. Okay, I'll go find it. You didn't laugh. She made a joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I, I knew you told you were telling a joke. Excuse me? I think you didn't think I knew you were telling a joke. Oh yeah. You didn't screw a long time ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not just a screw, a few screws. A few, exactly. A few of the screws. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's getting comfortable with you now. I know, that's cool. I'm okay. <laughs> 
funny. We're putting the seat back on here. She decided to keep it, which I think is a good idea because she has Wait, plenty of room. Because she swapped the good one for the, for the torn one. Yeah, and also, see that. <laughs> this arm one, can we put. Can we switch up? it out? Or not? Maybe. Okay. Oh, this is, see, this is why I. I get it now why he says I finagle him into yes. doing more things. It's because yeah. you, you, you think of a Shanghai, me be, for a whole day. Shanghai yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I just keep thinking about different things that, you know, I, I know. think are important. Yeah, and then, you know. See, that's the difference between man and woman. Man, yes. when he do something, one goal, that's it, done. Yes. Well, you, women keep constantly changing. Change, change. Women keep and constantly learn. changing. That's why yep. he makes <laughs> that's right and men just uh, uh one and done and women are three and four many and five easy. and then done many many satisfy one thing and we want more <laughs> we always want more tim oh yeah <laughs> definitely so so he was able to seal it off with just the stuff here i had i don't know what i had that for but Thank you. They look good. So is this going to be for uh, your clothes? Or a curtain? I mean, I don't, you don't need a curtain if you've got reflectix. You could put a, I would rather put a curtain back here. Not there. What do you think? I'll see. Yeah. Either or. Cause then I, I can At least you have it here. here. Yeah, you can decide later. All right, let's, let's put our shelves in. I'm so excited. So we decided to get these L brackets here for the uh, shelf, for underneath. I think it's going to be really nice when we're done. So let's see the finished product. Oh, we're so tired. We are exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks great. And you know, yeah, she still has to stain it a little bit, mm -hmm. but it fits perfect. And uh, she, her seat is up right now really far but we left enough room there we cut it on the top a little bit more because in case somebody was taller was to drive they can push the seat back and she still has room and we measured and I think she's gonna have room for her commode down there yeah. and then your um, water is gonna go there mm -hmm. and your sink up there and then she has a table <laughs> that looks so good yeah, yeah, totally. it was worth it Oh, definitely. It was a two-day two job, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. You're welcome. It was all thanks to Elaine. Oh. <laughs> We're good um, working partner. I had that extra bookcase, and I thought, you know, and I looked at your, your wood, and I thought, you know, I wonder if we could cut it down. Yeah. And we used almost, almost the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Um, and we recycled the nails. <laughs> we recycled the nails. <laughs> but that's good. Uh -huh. Alright. Yeah. So next is we'll do a van tour after you get it all set up. Yeah. We'll uh, do a van tour maybe at our March meetup. How about yeah, that? That'll be good. Yeah. Sounds good.